How do you go about, you talked about um, asking the for you know, next journey. How do you go about checking that really long? I think you're going to And how do you find it? Referring back to what you said before about reading stuff that you agree with and that you should challenge yourself. What would. Oh, shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> you go first. Does anybody here want to be a writer when they grow up? I discourage you, but <laughs> but I'm but I'm also proud of you. Uh, <laughs> I'm the correspondent here in Berlin. I see myself as a writer and not just as a journalist. I've written a novel um, as well as uh, as well as over a thousand published articles now. You know, I for instance no longer see myself as working for a, a paper newspaper. I read it you know, online, I read it on my iPad or, you know, on my Blackberry. So I think it's really, I guess what we do basically is just, is just transmit information. Do you find yourself becoming like, opinionated or do you find yourself like, just being very factual? And what, what does a newspaper want for you to do? There's a lot of different models of journalism and they're changing with the times. Uh, so, like when I was a kid, Everything was newspapers, and in America, the newspapers were supposed to just tell you the objective facts of what was happening. Since the rise of the internet, and since anybody here could start a blog, and if they were really you know, good enough, they could slowly gather followers until millions of people listened to what they said, people started talking about how, okay, well, everyone has a, everyone has a slant, right? You can't not have an opinion about something that you're writing about. I kind of think that you can you can have opinions without writing them into your article. Do you see no. uh, the future for media to actually become more seclusive than inclusive? Because with search engines and so forth, we're going to the articles we want. We're not having that accidental experience that we may have gotten with the newspaper or even the first versions that were on the web. If you just read your Facebook feed, and you're from the West Village in Manhattan, and you're really liberal, and you believe in gay marriage, and you believe in free college education for everybody, and you believe in 70% taxes for rich people, then you're just gonna keep reading articles in your Facebook feed and in your Twitter feed that all completely agree with you. And then if you go to, um, and then if you go to a barbecue in Texas, you'll think that you've landed on Mars rather than Texas as as readers of the news or as informed global citizens, which I think is the point of the school that you're in, that you need to make an effort to read things that you disagree with, to find a way to find things that you don't naturally stumble across, to ask yourself, you know, if all of my friends believe it, does that mean that it's right? And to just, just try to take those extra steps because sometimes the people that, sometimes the people that you agree with are wrong. This is the longest my phone has been off since March. Yeah. <laughs>